Ah. All right, guys. It is another absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful sunrise over the end times in the airboat plagued point lonesome swamp. Almost unbelievably gorgeous Sunday sunset in the end times. I think that is Sunday, December 5th, 2021, something like that. So, uh, anyway, I am uh, sitting out here grabbing my popcorn and my margarita for the show with the uh, with the airboats in the background as a uh, as a perfect metaphor for uh, airboats over a sunset. Uh, it is the perfect metaphor for why we are so fucked on this planet. Right here. Uh, the airboat the airboat encompasses everything that is wrong with planet Earth. It, it is embodied in the airboat. Uh, I'm looking forward to my first airboat ride when Brother Eric comes down here to visit in a couple of weeks. We're going on Wild Bill's airboat rides. Mm. But uh, I'm really not here to bitch about airboats. I'm here to talk about, and I warned my uh, my sister from another mother that I was going to do this. So uh, <laughs> I just had the disquieting experience. As I went over to one of Humpty Dumpty Tribe's sister channels, uh, sister channels, shall we say, to check out what was on the mind of my, uh, what I thought was, I guess, obviously, I have misunderstood this woman. I, I thought that she was a doomer chick. But after enduring, uh, how long did I make it? Did I make it five minutes into this descent? It, it was one of the most, I mean, is Orwellian the correct term here? I, I mean, it was, it, it, it was beyond Twilight Zone watching this, uh, watching this woman who, who I thought was a Dumerjack interview this dude and uh, huh should I use this guy's name let's just say his name uh, begins with A and ends with Ol Aol uh so anyway, she brings on, on this dude, I guess he's got some YouTube channel, uh, I don't know what the name of the YouTube channel, I think it has the word sustainable in it. Or is it a Doomer channel? Uh, to, to have the word sustainable, I, I, this whole fucking word sustainable. You know, I, I'm starting to see this goddamn word, the S word. It is, you know, Derek Jensen, or somebody that Derek was interviewing uh, like 30 years ago, was talking about how this term sustainable development was going to be the oxymoron of 
of the 21st century, the, the, the whole fucking notion of sustainable development is one of the biggest bright green lies. It is the, it is the essential bright green lie. But you don't even need the word, the fucking word development anymore. It's just the word sustainable. Um, there is nothing, nothing, nothing sustainable on this fucking planet. Do you get it, guys? Okay? This fucking airboat is not fucking sustainable. This fucking bag of popcorn is not sustainable. So, anyway, so my, my dear sweet former Doomer chick sister, she, uh, I'm not 100% sure what we were even fucking watching. Uh, I, I honestly don't know if it was off of his channel or, or, or she pulled this, this fucking photo. Uh, so what it was, we were 16 seconds, 16 seconds uh, in, in, into this hour and 10 minute video, which I made it about five minutes into. I had already had to suffer the word sustainable. And I uh, showed this picture of, I counted 11 children. Eleven children. A, a, a photograph of eleven children following a fucking screenshot about a sustainable tomorrow. And I, uh, I promptly projectile vomited all over uh, the Point Lonesome Swamp. That that one fucking photo. 16 seconds into, into that hour plus video <clears throat> was, you know, a, a one photo says a thousand words just like one fucking airboat says a million words about how fucking unsustainable we were. Eleven reasons that there will be no sustainable tomorrow in, in, in that picture. No, get this fucking hopium. Fucking, you know, it's just really, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, it's Sunday. So that little eco pussy over there at uh, Collapse Chronicles, looking around for a, a, for a fucking doomsday sermon, you know, to do my doomsday sermon. Every fucking choice I have, every fucking choice, you know, starts out the same way about how we're so fucked, how we're completely, you know, intractably fucked, and then the motherfucker would just go off, uh, you know, it's the same fucking format. This was over, I was mainly over on... I was checking out Counterpunch and Common Dreams, I think. Just over and over again. Uh, th these fucking apocaloptimists. Well, I just got fucking sick and tired of it. I'm fucking sick and tired of it. You know, my dear sweet sister, I... Uh... I kind of warned her about this rant. She just emailed me. She just emailed me. I mean, like 15 minutes ago, she emailed me. Um, informed me that she was tired, that she too was tired of all of this negativity, otherwise known as fucking reality. You know, I just finished watching, right before this video I watched, Vegematics, I 
latest video, you know, where he was pointing out, you know, the older he gets and the more he examines the, the evidence on, on, on the fucking table that, uh, that, you know, the downward <coughs> Seneca cliff collapse of every fucking thing on this planet. Uh, that, that the more, w w with each passing year, he gets more and more pessimistic. All of this shit, pessimism, negativity, it, it, it is what it is. It's fucking reality. We're fucked. We are fucked. We are so fucked. Okay? Do you fucking get it, people? We're fucked. Fuck. Even my former Doomer Chick sister does not want to hear it anymore, I guess. Does not want to hear the, the negativity. About the, 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 the fucking planet cannot handle the truth. The fucking truth is we're fucked. Okay? If that comment is negative, if it's pessimistic, it's fucking the truth with a capital T. We're fucked with a capital F. There will be no sustainable tomorrow. Okay? The very notion of a sustainable tomorrow on this planet that includes one fucking human, much less 11 of them, or 11 billion, as long as one fucking human uh, is walking this planet, this planet is fucked. Nothing sustainable about it. Okay? Uh, no, unless we go through the, and as we're going to, you know, we need to hit this fucking Georgia Guidestones bottleneck. Alright, when 15, when 15 out of 16 people on this planet no longer walk this planet, okay, so the corona panic, what, 0.02%, when 15 out of 16 humans, imagine every 16 humans on this planet, 15 of them are fucking dead. All right, here come the crazy cranes, echoing my rant. The day that we maintain a global population of 500 million humans, maybe at that point, this planet can be sustainable. Okay, uh, when 15 out of 16 people uh, on this planet are no longer on this planet. Now, I did not, I could not stomach, I'm going to have to, I'm going to turn this over to this uh, gorgeous sunset that I'm watching here in the end times. Uh, let see, my battery is getting ready to collapse. When 15 out of 16 people on this planet are no longer on this planet, there is probably about a one in a million chance that humans living on this planet will be sustainable. There is no fucking plan, all right, to create a sustainable tomorrow. We, this fucking planet ha has been completely unsustainable for at least 50 years. At least 50 fucking years. It was unsustainable 50 fucking years ago. It's 
10 fucking times as unsustainable today as it was 50 fucking years ago. And there's no reason to say that in 50 years from now, it's not going to be 10 times more unsustainable than it is now, except sometime in the next 50 years, we're going through the Georgia Guidestones bottleneck together. And it is going to be a wild ride. <clears throat> and uh, I'm sure Gail's a wacky with a agree with me <clears throat> that you do not want to be okay motherfucker you do not want to be one of the one out of 16 people making it through the bottleneck uh, I assure you you do not want to live on a planet with a sustainable human population the you, what, what, what your fucking life would look like Okay. What a sustainable uh, lifestyle would look like uh, tomorrow uh, or any other day. Take my word for it. You do not want to make it through the bottleneck. You want to be one of the 15 out of 16 motherfuckers on this planet who need to fucking go. Why anybody, any fucking body, would want to survive the collapse is... I, I, I mean, it's completely beyond my comprehension why anybody would want to be a prepper uh, to survive the collapse. There is one fucking thing I am doing to prepare for the collapse of this planet. Make a wild guess what it is. I mean, other than getting myself sterilized at age 22. Uh, other than that, it is getting out there and enjoying it while you still can. It, it is getting down. It, it, the, the more of these sunsets that you get to watch unfolding before you, the, the, you know, the more bags of microwaved popcorn the more of these uh, ice-cold uh, margaritas. Every one of these gorgeous sunsets uh, th th that you can uh, pack in to what's left of your pointless, miserable little existence. You need to get out there and fucking enjoy it, dude. You need to fucking get out there, sister. Get off that fucking little box. Get your fucking ass outside and, and, and watch the, the, these, uh, you know, a beautiful fucking sunset over the end times. I started my day with a beautiful sunrise. I'm closing my day out with a beautiful sunset over the end times. There's not a fucking thing, not a fucking thing that you or anybody else are going to do to plan for a sustainable future on this motherfucking planet uh, th that includes certainly over 500 million people. The very notion is, is, is vomit-inducing, uh, apocalyptic, hopium-smoking, and uh, my former Doomer chick sister knows this goddamn well. You know it goddamn well, darling. This fucking reality. Reality bites. Reality fucking sucks. Okay? There's not a goddamn thing you're going to fucking do to change the, uh, the trajectory uh, of, of this goddamn planet. Not a fucking thing you're going to do about it. 
Except, my God, if you're if you're still uh, breeding age, anybody still breeding age, listening to this, if, if I can keep one one fucking human uh, uh, from being born on this goddamn planet, I I everything that I've uh, dealt with being a fucking doomer uh, for how many years has been, has been worth it. Keep one fucking human being from being born on, onto this goddamn hellhole. Uh, that we have fucked. Sustainable tomorrow. Human extinction today might mean a sustainable tomorrow for for every one of our fellow earthlings that we share this planet with. But uh anyway. I don't know why it's so fucking hard to get this. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Find, squeeze every moment of beauty out of this planet while you still can before we fuck up every fucking corner of it. Any beautiful corner of this planet you can you can find left in this year. <clears throat> any sunset, any sunrise. Get out there and fucking enjoy it today because tomorrow is gonna fucking suck. Little dog, where are you? What are you doing? Sancho? Who need to go get that squirrely like that? Sancho, you need to get the squirrely like that. Get out there and get all of the little squirrelies while wow, you still can. Because the squirrels are fucked with all the rest of us. Santo, what'd you get over here, please? So I think I'm actually going to go into town tonight here uh, and have some social intercourse with normies here in the oasis of freedom. Um, I'm hoping the... Uh, Sunday night restaurant and bar will be packed with normies and I'm going to go uh, have social intercourse with normies while well, I still can and I highly advise you get all of the social intercourse with normies in while well, you still can Bye, guys. Sancho! Did you come here, please? What are you doing? You see the dragonfly just fly by. Dragonflies in December. <clears throat> it was 78 degrees today. Heading to 83 degrees here in a couple of days in the Oasis of Freedom. Mmm. Little dog. Well, I gotta go find my dog.
the gators start waking up about now. Bye, guys.